Help side defensive positioning is one of the most important concepts in basketball defense. Most basketball coaches think of simple shell drills to teach their team help side defense. A shell drill can make sense when it comes to explaining the basic concept and the positioning of the help side defense. But don't waste too much time on shell drills for two reasons. First, they are not game-like enough. Your players will not know how it feels to play help side defense in a real game where we have a lot of action and complex situations. Second, shell drills are predictable. There are no decisions to make. In this video, I'll show you four drills to teach help side defense, which are much more game-like and motivational, with more action and more scoring. Let's get into it. Before we start, let me give you a brief overview of the basic concept of help side defense. Let's say the offensive team implements a 5-out formation with one player at the top, two players at the wing positions and two players in the corners at the low wings. When the ball now gets passed from the top to the left wing, the two weak side defenders are at least two passes away from the ball. That means that there are one or more offensive players between the defender and the ball. We now want the defenders to slide towards the middle of the court and have at least one foot on the rim line, which is the imaginary line between the two baskets. The defenders must position themselves so that they can see both, the ball and the offensive players, without moving their heads. The same applies when the ball is passed to the low wing. So why do we do that? If the on-ball defender gets beaten by the offensive player, the weak side player can help out to stop the dribble penetration and prevent an easy layup. That's the main rule of help side defense. Player 3 moves towards the baseline to prevent a pass along the baseline. Player 1 and 2 move to the middle of the half court. This allows them to close out when a kick out pass comes. Enough theory, let's start with the drills. The first drill is perfect, especially for younger players who are not familiar with the concept of help side defense. It is important for them to automate to step away from the players they are guarding when they are on the weak side. It's all about helping their teammates. We make four rows at the baseline. The outside players will be defenders and the inside players play offense. The basketball is on the right side. The cones are positioned so that the off-ball defender has a huge advantage. In contrast, the on-ball defender has a disadvantage. The drill starts with the first four players going to the cones. The defensive players should go as fast as they can. After rounding the cones, we have a 2-on-2 two -two game. What can happen now is that the off-ball defender is focused only on the player he's guarding. That would mean an easy layup for the offense. Let's do the drill again and let the players figure out for themselves what to do. I'm sure they will come up with the right idea and learn that it matters most to stop the dribble penetration. So drill number two is a four-on-four -four game. The only change is that the on-ball defender stands between two cones. The drill starts when the on-ball defender moves to one side to touch a cone. Now the player with the basketball has a good opportunity to drive to the basket. This player can only be stopped by a good help side defense. That's the job of defender number three. Defender number four helps the helper and prevents a possible pass along the baseline. Now we have a regular 4-on-4 four -four game. The longer the drill lasts, the more solutions the offense will find to overcome the help side defense and the more the defense has to adapt, like it is in a real game. Pay attention to the correct positioning of the defensive players. The defender who stops the penetration should have the right timing to move towards the ball handler to stop him. It's best to stop him outside the key and force him to turn over the ball or pass the ball away from the basket. Drill number three is another 4-on-4 four -four game. 
This time, all defenders stand in the key at the beginning. The drill starts when the coach or another player passes the basketball to one arbitrary offensive player. The on-ball defender first has to run to the midline before he can defend. All other defenders should position themselves according to the concept of help side defense. Again, we have a huge advantage for the offensive team, which has to result in a dribble penetration to the basket. This must be stopped. The sticking point is the correct positioning of the defensive players when the coach passes the basketball. You can interrupt the drill after the pass and ask your players if they think they have a good position for help side defense. Now they can correct each other. Drill number four is my favorite drill. We have a regular setup for a 4 on 4 or a 5 on 5 game. The rules are quite simple. Before the offensive players are allowed to score, they must step in the key with both feet, with the ball in their hands, three times. Once they've done that together, it's a normal game. They can either dribble into the key or receive a pass in the key. This constraint leads to many penetrations and basket cuts, which should be defended by an aggressive help side defense. You will be surprised how fast this drill is. You can set a time limit for the offensive players. When they don't make it in the key within 5 seconds, it's a turnover. That rewards a good defense. In my eyes, there's no better way to teach a defensive concept. We have game-like situations, we have dribbling, we have passing, and we have finishing. Any mistake by the defensive team leads to an easy layup. That's how teaching works. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button and check out my other videos with a lot more drills.